Hey everyone, so I'm combining a large language model with YOLO to get more powerful object image segmentation. Now the large language model I'm using can tell me what's in the image, the objects, but I can't do spatial segmentation. And YOLO can do spatial segmentation, but it's trained on a, like a, a pre predefined set of classes. Now there's YOLO world, which has all, a built in vocabulary language model. So you can tell it whatever class you want, basically to segment whatever class you want. And even if it hasn't been trained on that class, it can infer the segmentation from classes it's already been trained on through the language model. So basically the first step, I guess, is to import my libraries. And this is the Olama library, which I'm using to run the Lava model. So the Olama library can run a, a number of different open source large language models. And the Lava model is actually quite good for uh, image image processing for image um, image recognition and this um and this is can run locally it's not it's not so big as far as large language models go so i'm running it locally on my machine i've got a an rtx 4070 graphics card so that that um that helps but it's going to be a little bit slow if i'm running obs at the same time okay so then this is my get B array. So this function here turns the image into a byte array and I need a byte array to input it into my, into my prompt, into my, into my chat prompt for the Alama library when I'm using Lava. Okay. So the next one is find webcam index and this function I use to find the index of the webcam because I'm using the integrated webcam with my laptop to film on OBS. So that's what you're seeing. That's what you're seeing me on. And then for the demo, I've got another webcam, which is plugged into the laptop. So that is this, this webcam here. And uh, so I need to find the index of that webcam when I feed it into my CV2 capture video capture function. So that's what this function will do for me. Basically, it just takes the output of this command here. So we see that the C922 Pro, which is the one I'm using for the demo, is on index zero and the integrated web camera is on index two. Okay. So now let's have a look. So index zero. All right. So now let's capture the image. All right. So I want to get an image that's going to be quite interesting. So I've got this, this kind this hooded towel here, and then I'm going to move out of the way just so I've got some stuff in the background and I want to see how well it does this. All right. So when I press Q, it captures the image for me. All right. So this is the image that it's captured here. All right. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to turn that into a byte array to input into my model. So this is the chat. This is the chat prompt that I'm using. And then the image is in this byte array here. So this is an array of bytes that I've turned the image into. And my prompt is extract the objects in the image, return only a plain list of object names, comma separated, no other words. Otherwise, if you don't tell it no other words, then it will return a description of the image. But because I want to input it into the YOLO world model, I need it as a comma separated list of variables. All right, so this may take a while, uh, but just because I've got OBS open. <clears throat> All right, so it took 43 seconds, but I managed to speed that up through the magic of filmmaking. All right, so now this is the response. Let's print out the response and see what's in the image. It says, man, chair, mirror, cabinet, shirt, tie, jacket, pants, boots, t-shirt, poster shelf, sink, faucet, bottle, cup, toothbrush, hairdryer, wall, floor, cabinet, drawer, table, glass, light bulb. All right. So now let's ask it what's, what let's, let's try to get it to segment it with YOLO world. So this is the model I'm using, uh, which is YOLO V8 M dash world. So this is a medium sized model. And then I'm turning the, the list, the text, which is this list here. I'm turning that into basically this just turns it into a list of 
basically a list of strings and then I define that as my objects as my classes so model set classes so this basically if I wanted to set the classes vehicle person road then I just enter a list vehicle person road but I'm just entering this as a list in in here in my model and we'll see uh, we'll see how that how that works all right so it took 2.1 seconds and that's with OBS running all right so now let's have a look at our results um, so that's got a lot of segmentations okay the other thing I should point out is that for the confidence I've set it really low just because when you're using YOLO world because it's it doesn't have the classes already predefined in the model and it's using um, some vocabulary to to get the classes then you have to set to get a decent result you have to set the confidence really low I found that it works much better that way so yeah so there's a lot but then we have to use non maximal suppression so basically with non maximum non maximal suppression we can suppress some of the overlapping classes and the non maximal suppression comes from the supervision library I'm using it's built in with supervision or you can write it uh, if you want all right so with non maximal suppression this is the result we get and it's pretty good so we get the jacket here this is jacket the chair which is this white chair here um, man so that's me shirt that's I'm wearing a shirt and a chair here which is the chair that's actually behind me and then that says poster so this is um, this is a poster this is a drawing that my kid did and light it gets light and cabinet so it's actually it's actually done quite well yeah so it, it actually does add a lot of power um, I do have to point out though that the results from this response from this query here uh, can vary from one query to another where even when it's exactly the same query and exactly the same image so there is a little bit of stochasticity there but there are settings you can use to make it less varied okay so that's worked out pretty well I'll put this code up on my github maybe I'll make that smaller so you can get a better look at the image that's the the image with non maximal suppression so I'll put this up on my github and you can have a look at the at the code and if you've got any comments if you or if you've got any questions I mean please leave them in the comments okay thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video